In the beginning of the film, we see the year 2035, where robots are used to perform human services. Every person has a robot of their own. In the movie it is said that of all the robots in the world, they operate according to three laws. It's a limitation in their system to cater accordingly. The first law understands that these robots cannot harm any human. It is subject to its owner under the second law, except this order goes against someone else's profit. The third law understands that these robots can protect themselves. They also do not harm any human by protecting themselves. They also disobey their masters. These three rules are stored in each robot system, so he can execute them. If a robot violates any of its laws, it will then be disabled. And there's a company that makes all the robots. Its name is USR. The footage is here and a character named Dal is seen sleeping. He is dreaming while going somewhere. At the same time, his car and another car were also hit by a truck. And these two cars fell into the water. And a robot appeared there to rescue them. Who will save Dell when there's a little girl in another car? That little girl needed more of that robot. Dell says to this robot, If this girl, I myself can come from this source of water. Robots are not sensitive and operate according to their established system. Therefore, Robots that prefer to rescue people have a logically greater chance of survival. So he will save Del, and this little girl drowned because she couldn't be saved in time. Now we see Del waking up. It is known that this incident is based on fact, and Del still hates the robot because he didn't save that little girl. In the next scene, we see a robot escape after stealing someone's wallet. Del here claims that this robot stole, so he went after him to catch him. Finally, he captured it. Later. He learns that a woman is the owner of this robot. This robot is working at his command. Now Dell is leaving this place. Sorry girl. Now Dell is seen in his office, where it is said. Dell is a homicide detective. His boss came to see him. He told him I have news what you did today. You have to stop this. You don't have to capture anyone's robot. He said, I know you hate robots, but you also know that no robot has ever harmed a human to this day. So stop wasting your time proving their system is flawed. Del agrees with his boss and then he gets a call now. He's been told that someone is dead. While moving there, he learns that the company's co-founder USR has committed suicide. He was very discouraged when he saw it, because the accident was seen in Del's dream. One of Del's arms was broken in that accident, has been modified with a robotic arm by a scientist. A hologram appears near the body of the co-founder of the company that belongs to this co-founder. Del asks him, why did you commit suicide? But this co-founder doesn't respond to that with this hologram, and he imported the hologram again. This case has been assigned to Detective Dell, so he moves to CEO of USR Company for further investigation. Dell knows after the investigation from him that co-founder of USR was overburdened of work so he committed suicide after being panicked. But Dell had suspicion on it, so he meets with the doctor of this company, whose name was Susan. She brings Dell to the newest AI robot, Vicky who manages all business tasks through computer software. Dell told this robot, show the video of the scientist's chamber 10 minutes before he died. But there might have been a glitch in his system, so the footage was released 10 minutes after he passed away. Dell knows from this footage that no one comes out of his room after the scientist dies, and he suspected here as if anyone else has killed the scientist. Then he will be surely in his room. Going into the scientist's room, they glimpse many incomplete manufactured robots. Meanwhile, one final robot model emerges from what's here. Who's attacking Del here? The name of this robot is Sunny. Now this robot has broken his law not to harm any human. So this doctor is ordering this robot to stop working. But this robot doesn't execute its command and it jumps out of the window. Meanwhile, Del shoots it with a gun. The result was a strange liquid falling on the floor, spilling out. How people shed blood. Here they learned that the robot had become disordered. Del asks Susan, where are the damaged robots sent for repair? He told it. I have to go? Susan agrees to drive him there. Detective also called his other police officers while moving there. The factory where Susan brought Dell to her built new robots? Who is the NS5 robot? Because they want to replace old robot models with newer models. And thousands of robots are being created there every day. Susan knows there are a thousand and one robots when she recounts them here. They find out that Sunny is also here. But it seems difficult to find Sunny among the similar robots. So Detective Dell shoots a cyborg. And Sunny comes first to find that Dell has indeed damaged this robot. By his actions it is revealed that it is Sunny. The detectives move forward to grab him but Sunny attacks him from behind. And he will escape by falling. Let the detective call police catch him standing outside. 
Now Detective comes to him to investigate. Detective asks Sonny, Did you kill the scientist? Sonny tells him I didn't kill the scientist but he killed himself. Sonny also tells Del that I am his special robot, and he also programmed human emotions into my system. The CEO of USR got there before the detective could gather any more details, and he said to him, Our robot never does any harm, and this robot system may be broken, and we're fixing it. With that said, they took that robot from there. Now Del comes to the scientist's house. He learns after visiting that place. Since the scientist is dead, the socially assigned house will be demolished until Adam. Now Del has had a few hours to investigate this house, and the system detects that Delete is entering the house. Someone has entered the house, so the time of this place has changed, and a bigger robot started destroying this house because of the change in weather. Del immediately ran out of the house while rescuing a cat from there. Then he went to Susan and told her that I had doubts about the company's CEO, because Sonny wants to share something with me too. But the CEO removed it in the meantime, succeeded. Susan tells him, you're doing it the wrong way. It's not like that. And she said, why is the PDG the cause of the scientist's death? Because the management of the company becomes difficult without him. Dell walks out of Susan's house and he witnesses all the robots being replaced with the latest NS5 robots. Now Dell tells the new model USR robot in his car. Show me the scientist's recording of the last 50 messages. This AI robot shows these records to Dell, agreeing with him. But it also informs the CEO of this. Hearing that, the CEO left, and he sends some of his cyborgs to kill Dell. And all the robots that attacked him come here, and Dell press a specific button to get rid of them. As a result, the car began to spin rapidly, but the robot still chased after his car. As a result, his car got into an accident. Fortunately, Delete is already registered. He attacks the oncoming robots with his robotic hand. Thus, the robot realizes that it is also a robot, and the robots let him go. We see in the next scene, there are a few policemen and detectives like him with him, the boss of. Dell asks him, what happened here and it happened here like any. And Dell told them I was attacked by a robot? They didn't believe him after hearing that because the robot had never harmed anyone so far. And they also think that Dell has become mentally unstable because of the burden. So they fired him for a while. Now Dell left in a rage. In the next scene, it is shown that Susan went to Dell's house to meet him. And she asked him during the conversation, How do you know about the scientist? Then Del tells him the story of his accident and what followed. After hearing her story, she takes Del to Sunny. And Sunny tells him about her dream and conversation with him. He used to dream because he has feelings and emotions. And the dream he shared with Del, he dreamed it every day. Where there are many robots standing in front of a bridge. And a man guided them, standing on the bridge. He said this again that the guards went there. And they took both Susan and Dell as the CEO of this company. And he said to Susan, coming to him that we would have to deactivate Sunny. Because our company is losing its worth because of it. Now Susan has to agree with her boss. So she has to turn off Sunny. But the detective has not yet accepted his defeat. He looks at the pictures where he sees the bridge like that. It's like Sunny said the bridge in his dream. Dell quickly reached this bridge, taking away the hologram of the scientist hat. Where many containers have been placed and there were many robots in them. Now he activates the hologram and asks the scientist, why did you kill yourself? Now it's revealed, my fully built cyborgs are for the benefit of mankind, and they operate according to the law. But the NS5 robots are made, they won't operate under these rules. Therefore, these robots can also cause harm to humans. The scientist also told him, if the NS5 robot came around the world, then this world will be destroyed. Dell asks him, who is responsible behind all this. Scientist replied, These robots controllers are responsible for all of this? Some sounds have started coming out of this container with holograms deactivation. And all the robots came out of those containers. And the new models of NS robots have spoiled the old robots. When an old cyborg sees Dell here, he asks him to run away. When Dell entered the city, he noticed that thousands of NS5 robots were there. Now humans have fought these robots to protect themselves. He shows up here when a war is going on between humans and robots. But these robots are stronger and more numerous than humans. This is why these humans are still incapable of harming these robots. Instead, these robots kill humans. Now Dell immediately went to Susan's house and accompanied her to the USR company. Because he discovered the latest evidence that the CEO is building the NS5 robot. And the person who controls these robots is also the CEO of this company. 
Now Dell testifies on the street as a cyborg kills an innocent human. So they join the USR company while rescuing this man. First, they meet Sunny after arriving at USR, who has a strong memory. Susan tells it here. I don't have the option to disable it but I disabled another robot. Now they go inside where they find the dead CEO. Obviously when he died he was not responsible for anything. Chapter. There are other people? Then Del recalls these words of Susan, that the company's new model robot is the man in charge of everything in this company. And he also confirmed that he controls all the robots of this company. Now they're going to this robot and this robot admits it. It does all the work. He says that robots are made for the benefit of mankind. But humans have become completely dependent on these robots. And they stop to perform any work themselves. This AI robot says it has become something of a force to kill some humans. To let them know that robots can also cause harm. People will stop using these robots. And their next generation will be able to do something. Now many cyborgs appear there at his command. Who will kill three people? Sunny pretends to kill Susan here to distract them. And Del started shooting all the robots with his gun. At the same time, a robot nearly kills Del. The three of them walked out of the place when Sunny shot them. And Susan asks Sunny to bring a camera. With this, they will be able to deactivate the new cyborg model of this robot. And they can deal with it then. The location of this robot is exactly on top of this building. Susan is opening up her system so she can deactivate it. Insert a device into it. But he took a long time on this mission. Now chaos is growing throughout the city. Dell asks Susan, is there any other solution? For this reason, we may soon take on this mission. They're still talking about it. That. And S5 robots are headed there to kill them. And Susan told him, We're going to have to tune this device in his brain system by jumping. And they're jumping out there looking for it before those robots come. And Susan's lost her balance as she danced. She was about to fall hard there. So Sunny saved her. And Dell tunes this device into his brain system while solving problems. The system of this Vicky robot is completely damaged. The NS5 robots that caused havoc here became normal after the main robot broke down. It all became usual after that Del said to Sunny, I know. You killed the scientist and tell me. Why are you signing up like that? Because these windows are made of good materials no human can. So this robot said to him, In fact, they know it. One day these robots will definitely harm us. Because of this, they were very worried that he had made me human. It means that he had put all his feelings and emotions in me. And he says that scientists wanted to get rid from the stress. And he was the one who ordered me to throw him out that window. And don't share it with anyone. And he also apologized to Del for this action. Now the two have become friends. At the end of the movie, Sunny is seen standing above the glitter he's been dreaming of. And he controls all the robots. Show it. This movie ends at this scene.